Hello guys, Sapphire Yangaman with a review of Monster High, Boo York, Boo York, a Boo York, Boo York, a Monsterific musical. So this movie is pretty much about more about Cleo and Deuce. And so in this film, we start off with Caddy Noir leaving the business and trying to focus on herself and writing a song for her, you know, finding her voice. Um, then we scan over to Cleo and um, Cleo and Deuce. Uh, Cleo just found out that um, her family... Ramses and Nefra will be going to New York for this um, Crystal Gala, the Comic Crystal Gala, and she can invite Deuce and one friend, but she ends up inviting everybody, which is Frankie, Claudine, Draculaura, Operetta. I think that's it. I think that's all she actually invites. And so they all head to New York where they are introduced to three new characters. You have um, LED, I believe that is her name properly. LED, she's the robot. There is Luna Moth, and there is um, Mouse Hades. Uh, LED, she's a robot. Um, Luna Moth, he's um, a moth, basically. And Mouse Hades is the daughter of the Mouse King. Each of them have their own personality. They all have different goals in life. Um, so, they're pretty much fun characters to see, and hopefully we get to see more of them um, in other Monster High web series or other movies. Then we are taken to Cleo. They have to meet for brunch and Deuce was told by Nephora to wear uh, this she, he thought it was a costume party poor thing. Nephora. So everybody's laughing at him, and the, this vulture type waiter's like, "Sir, it has to be a black tie event only. You have to have a tux." So they give him like this big old freaking grandpa looking tux, and he has to wear it. And then they get are given like these kind of like these crambule things, but you know it's monster. I forgot what they called them. And it's on fire, right? And so Neffa goes, "Oh my God, Deuce, your food's on fire!" You know, so he's like, "Oh no!" You know. Trying to do the right thing, but Nefra just being freaking messy. Trying to make him look bad in front of, you know, her f the dad already don't like Deuce. So trying to make him look bad in front of the the guest, the guest Pharaoh and his mother. I can't now remember her name for nothing. And so he pours it out and Cleo's like, Deuce, the f it's supposed to be on fire. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's just feeling so bad and everything. And, and Nefra still talks to him, talking about, you're just embarrassing her. Why don't you just end it and, you know, you know. Because his friend, she's not going anywhere. Just being so negative. So Deuce actually goes to Nephra. I mean, to Cleo and says it's over. Which breaks out to song, it can't be over. And, you know, Cleo's broken up about this. But we realize that Nephra wants this to, them to break up. Because she needs Cleo, her younger sister, to marry Pharaoh. Because in the song Empire, which is the villain song of the movie. Which is sung by Nephra Denial and Ramses, which is their father badass song so um yeah so what happened was Ramsey was actually gonna have Nephra marry Pharaoh but Nephra like no I don't want to be married you know I want I like I want the rich and famous stuff, but I'm not gonna be married and get it we're gonna make my sister do it and so that's what the soul manipulation is about so later what we have is this comment situation that's going on which you actually see throughout the beginning of the movie and we don't see who's inside it and so actually to end so Gulia, you know because she's smart and everything is so awesome the coolest zombie ever but she gets this like this notification and she like she goes down to the you know the uh if you watch what, what is it freaky fusion uh which one is uh roberta is it roberta robecca that's it robecca steam her father's um you know laboratory Gulia pretty much uses it now so she you knows she's trying to map out the trajectory of the of the common and if it hits earth it's gonna cause a national disaster and everything and, and oh not Gulia. Abby comes down, she's like, Gulia, what's going on? Everything like that. And Gulia, and um you're trying to figure out trying you try to help her and everything. So it's pretty cool. But it kinda gets messed up a little bit with Manitor and Heath coming in thinking it's a video game. I'm like, it's not a video game, it's like seven situation. <gasps> so then back to New York. I mean Boo York. Boo York. Um, after um, Deuce breaks up with Cleo, 
And then forgets to hustle her head. And she's like, I am a denial. If that's what the people want, let me to marry Pharaoh, then I'm going to do it. And I'm like, obviously she sees that her sister is very unhappy, but it's like Nefra really does not care. And that's just sad. And Frankie and everybody are like, something is wrong. Like, Deuce wouldn't just break up with Cleo. Like, like, have you seen every episode of Monster High in every movie? Those two are together. You know, it's Clues and... I say Clues. Oh, that could be their name! Clues! It's Clues! Cleo and Deuce. Clues! Ah! That could be their name! Clues! I have no idea how you would spell that, but it's Clues! So, Frank and them catch on to what's going on, so Nefra gets even more upset when it's revealed that, um, the, the son is actually Pharaoh, who's like this hip-hopper, rapper, you know, just spitting fire out in, on, on the streets of New York and everything. And he ends up falling with Cat and Nora, and she's also a singer. So they have, like, their little Beyonce, J.C. thing on her. Right so never like, no, this is not going to happen, and takes away both their voices. So they lose sort of interest in each other. And Pharaoh goes back to, yes, mother, you know, being all boring and whatever. Cat and Nora just has no passion her in a more sense of voice is gone so they find Torlai has a crystal and instead of Torlai chucking it like she was supposed to Torlai decides to use it on herself so she could be famous because she cannot sing worth of anything right so then they bust into, bust out into a song which features Torlai, Luna Moth and Caddy Noor and from that Luna actually gets discovered and you have a lot of people wanting to sign her you know as wants to meet an agent so I'm like that's good for her so then they have to get back because with this comet coming closer and closer to Earth, power has shut off, um, has shut down um, the LED. She has been fritzing and been playing this little melody and she has no idea what's going on. So when Guya finally wakes up, the person inside the ships, she wakes up, she stops her ship from crashing into Earth and reveals herself to everybody. Her name is Astronova. She's an alien, which is She's like the cutest freaking alien I've seen. Like seriously, she's actually adorable. So she they give her back to Crystal, which is actually a part of her ship, and they bust out into a song called Shooting Stars, which is actually a beautiful song. It's more popish than hip hop like Empire and It Can't Be Over and Yeah, that is only two hip hop stop and Boo York, Boo York, which is sung by Kenny Norton Pharaoh. So that's pretty much the end of the movie. Deuce and Cleo gets back together, Nefra and Ramses don't get their little empire. Pharaoh gets to be who he is. His mother accepts him and is, you know, is, you know, it's cool with it. So I'm like, yes, everybody's happy. What? There's also a post credit scenes after the film. So stay for, you know, stay for that. And overall, this movie is definitely a 10. If it's designed for young girls, but overall, I think it's, it's definitely a good family movie. It's something you can watch with your kids, you know, or if you're like me. Watch it by yourself and be like, yeah. Or if you're, you know, watch it with somebody you like or a friend or whatever. Anyway, that is pretty much all my review for Monster High Blue York, New York. The soundtrack is awesome. I actually love the songs. My favorite songs actually from the track is Empire, which is sung by Nefra and Ramses. Uh, my second favorite is It Can't Be Over, which is sung by Deuce and Cleo. My third favorite. Is a song that's sung by Torlai, Caddy Nora, and Luna Moth. I can't, for some reason, the name of the song keeps slipping my mind. But it's that one too. And there's this, then there's the song that's sung by Caddy Nora and Pharaoh called Boo York, Boo York. And I love it. Like the music. And of course, also on the soundtrack, the song that's sung by Caddy Nora in the beginning, Search Inside. There's um, Fright Lights, City Lights song, which is sung when the girls first arrived to New York. There's also, of course, the two theme songs from Monster High, which is We Are Monsters, We Are Proud, and Monster, Monster High, you know, the first song. So overall, that is it for my Monster High review of We Are New York. Hopefully, I can't wait for the next Monster High musical. Uh, and in the link below, I will post a link to Monster High's official YouTube website. If you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and watch the episodes. Um, if you have Netflix, you can watch Monster, all the Monster High films on Netflix. They have them all. Or not, you could buy, go, you know, go to Amazon or wherever and buy them. And also, I will post a link to my blog post about what I wrote about Monster High and what I love about it so much. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.